This tree here is a bit of a weedy tree, a short-lived one. It's called elder. Elder comes from the old Anglo-Saxon word ailed, which means fire. And one of the reasons for that might be that the um, sticks are actually quite useful in starting fires. Not to burn themselves, but because they have a very soft pith inside them. And if you cut a twig of elder and you get a, you can see the soft pith there, and with a coat hanger or a bit of wire, you can easily knock it out. And so they may have been used as a type of bellows to get underneath the fire and just to blow air into the base of it. But there's another half of this superstition, which is that you must never burn the wood of the elder because by superstitious belief, if you burn the wood of an elder, then you see the devil. There's another slight devil association with elder, which is that it was often grown outside houses. And it's said that that's because it was to keep away the devil. But there's a much more practical reason for growing elder outside your house and it's to keep away flies. Because the foliage of elder, especially if you crush it and smell it, it smells horrible. And it does actually work very well as a fly repellent. And people who used to uh, have, keep horses for their carts used to drape elder foliage around the heads of the horses to keep the flies off them. And on a particularly bad day, you can do it yourself if you don't mind the smell. But the other good reason to have elder right next to your house is of course the fact that it produces elder flower. Now these haven't quite opened yet, but elderflowers can be used to make wine. You can eat them directly off the plant, or in fact in some places what you can do is just dip them in batter and fry them and they turn into a lovely crispy snack. And then they turn later in the year into berries and you can also make wine out of the berries too. So they've got quite a lot of household uses apart from um, keeping away the devil from your door.